Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a late and very short but sweet November favorites. I have a couple of items to share with you. One makeup, two hair care, two skincare. This was a really odd month for me. I feel like it really flew by and nothing happened and I didn't do anything to my face. So I rounded up a couple of things that I do want to share with you. So let's get started. Okay, so for makeup, this guy right here, the Naked 2 palette, which people don't talk about anymore. People rarely talked about it when it first came out. Okay, I want to say rarely, but it wasn't like the most popular palette ever. I have fallen in love with this. This is part of my Project Pan for November and December, and I have created some really pretty, pretty looks with this that I have just been obsessed with. So I'm happy I've never gotten rid of this and I've kept it around. It is still in great condition for how old it is. Works like it's brand new. So I really like this. Hair, this guy right here, I have two minis of this that I have been using. It's the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I have been using this for the past three weeks. I have it in my hair right now. It is really nice, especially for the fact that it doesn't have um, that much of a powdery residue. I think some powder comes out, but not as much as other dry shampoos. My favorite one is the one by Chlorine and that pumps out a lot of powder, but it's okay for me because I have mostly blonde hair, so I just work it in and it doesn't really matter. But I know people with darker hair, it does matter. So I really liked this and I do like the scent of it. I think it's really nice. Then I have this guy right here. It isn't this specific brand in general, but just this kind of clip. These are called alligator clips or crocodile clips. Not sure which one, but it's because they kind of look like an alligator or a crocodile. Um, these are so good. I got my set at TJ Maxx. They are by Cala right there. Um, TJ Maxx always has some, lots of different brands, but these are great because they are like a normal like hair clip, but it bends here. So it's able to hold on to more. So for example, say this is like a clump of hair. A normal hair clip looks like this and it would just go like that and hardly close. This has a that bend, so it kind of wraps around the clump of hair that you are trying to clip up so that it holds more. Does that make sense? I hope that visual worked for you because it makes sense in my mind. I love these type of clips. I've seen them all over Instagram with um, makeup artists and hairstylists using them to put their clients hair back and stuff. People say they swear by them and I understand why and they are cheap. They are not super expensive which is great especially if you get them at TJ Maxx. Last two products are both um, moisturizers, two kind of different formulas. The first one is the Tarte Drink of H2O. I never thought I would like this. Tarte is not really a skincare brand. I never like skincare from brands that are mostly known for makeup. I feel like it's not real skincare. Like it's not fake obviously, but it's not like amazing quality active ingredients you know what i mean it's just like here's a moisturizer here's um under eye gel patches and um facial spray or something like that like they aren't like for specific things but i've been really impressed with this for daytime moisturizing it has been great for nighttime but we have recently hit the point of the cold or like winter here in Maryland where it's become super, super dry and very uncomfortable. Like your skin like hurts because it's so dry and itchy. So this no longer does it for me at night, but during the day it is so good, especially because it doesn't leave a lot of residue on your face. It really sinks into the skin and you don't get super oily throughout the day. Like another type of gel moisturizer, one that's a lot more heavy duty than this. So this is a light guy and I am almost done. I have been surprisingly enjoying this. Okay. 
Then we have this guy. This has been a favorite of mine before. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So for my dry girls out there and people that are suffering from dryness, just from the winter time, this will be your best friend. It is so gentle and so moisturizing. Like it really gives that moisturization, like that comfort of moisturization. Like do you just have, like, do you know what I mean? Like when your skin's super dry and you just need that like relief, this gives it to you. It doesn't have a scent or like harsh ingredients. So it's just very gentle on the skin, soaks in, just plumps. It feels fantastic. One of the best moisturizers I've ever tried in my life. I always, always come back to this one and I've always just had samples but they are just fantastic it is thick it is creamy but it's not going to be one where you're going to break out my skin is more sensitive to the thick moisturizers um, the milk makeup I want to say it's goat's milk but that is so wrong it's like some type of milk moisturizer in the green packaging I really loved that until I started to notice that it was giving me little whiteheads um, and that one is a really really thick moisturizer that does sink in but it just is thick this one's slightly less thick than that and just super gentle on the skin okay enough about moisturizers that is everything that I have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you later guys bye